सो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित एंड वेयर इन बी आर डिस्कसिंग द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑन थीरियोजिनोलॉजी एंड आई विश टू एक्सप्रेस माई सिंसियर थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु हैव ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल काइंडली टू सब्सक्राइब टू इट सो दैट यू रिसीव आर वीडियोज वेरी फास्ट सो फ्रेंड्स इन आवर टूडेज टॉपिक वी टॉक समथिंग अबाउट द इनफर्टिलिटी इन द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स the infertility or the temporary loss of fertility in male is characterized by reduced number of viable spermatozoa in the ejaculate uh, nils lagerlof he classified infertility in males in under three subheadings the impotentia quendi impotentia genendi and the miscellaneous forms of infertility impotentia quendi refers to reduced to complete lack of sexual desire and ability to copulate in a male whereas impotentia genendi refers to inability or reduced ability to fertilize the ovum due to pathologies of testes mesonephric ducts and accessory sex glands then there are miscellaneous uh, forms of of infertility affecting the reproductive organs so today <coughs> we will discussing in our this lecture impotentia uh, quendi again this is the classification impotentia quendi impotentia genendi impotentia quendi includes the causes hereditary nutrition systemic diseases age management endocrine disturbances diseases of joints muscle nerve bone and tendon and diseases of the penis and prepuce then other causes include the hernia premature ejaculation loss of innervation urinary calculi etc impotentia genendi have been classified into two types that with apparently normal semen and that with apparently abnormal semen Ap those with apparently normal semen have been classified into that because of infectious diseases and the infectious sperm defects then pathologies of the testes epididymis and the accessory sex glands are covered under the impotentia genendi with apparently abnormal semen so let us talk about impotentia quendi impotentia quendi refers to reduced to complete lack of sexual desire and ability to copulate the causes of low sex desire are multifarious and can be because of joint muscle bone tendon and nerve injuries environmental factors diseases of the penis and prepuce and miscellaneous causes the prognosis for low sex drive is guarded to poor and low sex drive is inherent in some boss indicus bulls uh, what could be the therapy before therapy careful examination and diagnosis is necessary diseases deficiencies should be treated accordingly bulls or males should be put to regular exercise they should not be put to increase uh, sexual load and then they uh, should be handled and managed properly libido enhancement in males can be done by injections of male hormone the testosterone and bulls and stallions can be given 100 to 500 mg intramuscular or subcutaneous at weekly intervals boar and ram can receive 50 to 100 mg and dogs should receive 10 to 50 mg of testosterone injected intramuscular or subcutaneously at weekly intervals a better option could be chorionic gonadotropin administration of hcg to bulls or stallion can be done at the rate of 5000 to 10000 international units intramuscular or subcutaneously at 15 to 30 days interval dogs can receive 100 to 500 international units intramuscular or subcutaneous but libido enhancement cannot be guaranteed using these uh, hormones and as such one should also care about the nutrition the management the exercise and all these things herbal supplements uh, can help in improving uh, the uh, libido of bulls and stallions and uh, there are some uh, commercially available herbal supplements like spim and fort which can be uh, given to these animals then joint muscle tendon bone and nerve injuries can result into lack of the sexual desire in the males joint problems such as coccytis or gonitis 
can result into uh, the problems and uh, will result into low sexual desire and uh, poor ability to mate. Coxitis is inflammation of the hip joint. It is common in dogs and boars. It is characterized by a short stride and adduction of the limbs. Gonitis is inflammation of the stifle joint. It is common in bulls and characterized by short, short stiff gait, distension and enlargement of the joint capsule of the stifle. Then ligament problems such as that with round ligament, rupture of the round ligament uh, may be observed in bulls with degenerative coxitis. And rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament of the stifle inhibits mounting in bulls and dogs. The spastic syndrome, crampiness and stretches are some of the uh, uh, problems that can cause poor libido and ability to mate. Long spasm of skeletal muscles are common in Holstein, Friesian and Guernsey breeds. Rupture of the gastrocnemius muscle or gluteal croup muscles can also result in similar problems in bulls. And then quitters or interdigital uh, granuloma or tendonitis can result in problems which will prevent a bull to mate. Spondylosis in bulls and dogs is characterized by stiffness and soreness in the gait spinal rigidity and pain over the vertebrae. Then the diseases of the penis and pupus can result into poor libido and ability to mate. The disease of the penis could be congenital or acquired. Congenital or hereditary problems include persistent penile frenulum which uh, results into uh, inability to protrude the, uh, then the inability to protrude the penis and congenital short penis or congenital short retractor penis muscle. Then urethral aplasia and pigmentation melanosis can also result into penile problems. The acquired problems of the penis and pupus include inflammation of the penis and pupus, tumors of the penis and pupus, adhesions in the penis and pupus, uroliths in the penis and pupus, deviation of the penis and ruptured, fractured or broken penis. Persistent penile frenulum is the most common problem. It is characterized by a fibrous band attached to the prepuce to the free portion of the penis. At approximately 4 months, the penis and prepuce begin to separate under the influence of male hormones. Separation should be complete by 8 to 11 months of age. The frenulum normally ruptures during separation of the penis from the prepuce. <clears throat> this results in ventral deviation of the penis during attempts at coitus. It is treated bull by my myectomy. This is a bull with persistent penile frenulum and this can be surgically excised and uh, the bull may recover. Then inability to protrude the penis could be because of congenital short penis or congenital short retractor penis muscles. Bulls should be uh, bulls with these types of problems uh, should not be used for breeding because of the hereditary nature of the problem. Then urethral aplasia, partial or complete absence of the urethra is known as urethral aplasia. It's a rare condition. The cause is segmental aplasia of the mesonephric ducts and diagnosis can be done by transrectal examination. There is no specific treatment. Pigmentation melanosis is characterized by entire urethral mucosa having dark brown pigmentation and associated with congenital defects including bilateral segmental gonadal aplasia, bilateral spermiostasis, fusion of the ampulla and fusion of vesicular gland. There is no specific treatment. Then acquired causes, inflammation of the penis and prepuce. Uh, the inflammation of the glans penis is known as balanitis. That of the prepuce is known as uh, posthitis and uh, combined inflammation of the uh, glans penis and prepuce is known as balanoposthitis, which appears to be more common. So here you can see balanitis, posthitis and balanoposthitis. Balanoposthitis in bulls can be caused by bovine uh, herpes virus. In the ram, uh, it is known as pizzel rot or sheath rot and caused by coronavirus renal. In the stallion, trypanosoma equiperdum results into a disease known as dorin and this can result into balanoposthitis. Douching the prepuce with antiseptics, 1 is to 2000 acriflavin or potassium permanganate, 1% hydrogen peroxide solution can help. 
Application of oily preparations of antiseptics and antibiotics are also helpful. Systemic antibiotics given in severe cases and sexual rest is required during treatment. Prognosis is good in mild cases and guarded in chronic cases. Then uh, another um, condition is phimosis, is the stenosis of the prepucial orifice with inability to protrude the penis outside the sheath or prepuce. The cause is a pendulous sheath. Chronic prolapse of the prepuce, posthitis resulting into phimosis due to injuries, wounds and infection and sometimes rarely congenital. The treatment is surgical correction. Paraphimosis is the inability to withdraw the penis into the prepuce and it uh, results into swelling, edema and balanopostitis. The cause may be either paralysis of the penis in bulls may be because of rabies in horses during the last stages of dorine and is most common in dog and stallion. You see uh, a dog penis with paraphimosis. It cannot be retrieved back into the prepuce. Then priapism is the persistent erection in absence of sexual stimulation. Occurs most commonly in dogs and penile amputation is a feasible treatment. Then phallocampsis or deviations of the penis, ventral or rainbow deviation, dorsal ligament is thin and stretched to the point that it is incapable of holding up the distal portion of the penis during erection. Then lateral deviation of the penis, it may occur due to secondary to trauma of the penis or prepuce. Scars or adhesions of the elastic tissue pull the penis to one side of the other. Vent this is a ventral or rainbow deviation. Then spiral or corkscrew penis, it is due to dorsal apical ligament slipping off to the left hand side of the penis resulting in a counterclockwise spiral as viewed from the rear. Spiraling of the tip of the penis is a normal part of the process of ejaculation in the bull occurring after intermission during the ejaculatory thrust. It is not considered pathologic until its occurrence is observed on repeated natural breeding trials in which it occurs prior to entrance into the vulva and thereby prevents intromission. This is a spa, spiral or corkscrew penis in a bull. Then S-shaped deviation, this mainly occurs due to uh, when the apical ligament is insufficient in strength, but insufficient, uh, is sufficient in strength, but insufficient in length, and the S-shape results during erection. Adhesions in the penis and pupils, uh, adhesion in the region of sigmoid flexor may be due to horn injuries in the bull and ram and adhesion in the region of fornix of the prepuce to the abdominal wall or to the skin both uh, the both produces more severe phimosis and require surgical correction then tumors of the penis and prepuce in the bull transmissible fibropapilloma is the tumor and it's single or multiple firm cauliflower like growth. There is spontaneous recovery within four months and surgical removal is also suggested. In the stallion, squamous cell carcinoma is an uncommon tumor and requires surgical treatment. In the dog, most common the tumor is transmissible venereal tumor. It is spread by coitus and there is discharge of bloody fetid exudates from the pupils of the male and administration of vincristin. 0.025 mg per kg body weight, slow IV and repeated at 7 days interval is a good option for therapy. Surgery may also be required in some cases. So you can see transmissible fibropapilloma, this is a transmissible venereal tumor, squamous cell carcinoma. Then environmental causes like nutrition, deficiencies of TDN, vitamin A, protein, phosphorus and cobalt may result into low sexual desire. Overfed animals which are not exercised and become very heavy may also become obese and have low sexual desire. Then age, uh, too young or too old animals, then systemic disease like foot and mouth disease, brucellosis, tuberculosis, paratuberculosis, severe inter uh, internal parasitosis can result into uh, a poor libido in the bull. Then hormonal causes hypothyroidism, hypogonadism, 
which require therapy including uh, the 3% uh, thyroxine or maybe iodinated casein or administration of hypogonadism one can use uh, HCG 3000 to 4000 uh, international unit at 4 to 5 days interval. Then the miscellaneous causes the hematoma of the penis also referred as ruptured penis, broken penis or fractured penis is common in bovine species and rare in other species. It occurs during coitus when the cow slips or goes down under the weight of the bull or when the penis is thrust against the stachian of the cow during breeding attempts. You see hematoma of the penis in these pictures. Then pupusial avulsion usually occurs during semen collection with an artificial vagina. If the AV is too tight, a transverse or oblique laceration may occur at the dorsum of the pupusial ring or the fornix. So, uh, I hope you like this video lecture. You can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn channel link and this is my YouTube channel link. Kindly view the uh, lecture completely, give your suggestions, comments and share and subscribe to the channel Govind Narayan Purohit if you like them. Thank you, thank you so much.